Major John Bucky Egan is one of the most important characters in Masters of the Air, and many viewers are curious about what will happen to him after the military drama. Two particular features of Egan's character make him significant in Masters of the Air. He joins the bomb group as one of the first men to arrive in Thorpe Abbotts in 1943 and advances through the ranks fast. Egan also stands out because of his endearing connection with Gail, Buck Cleven, which develops in a lot of fascinating ways throughout the series. It's good to see you again. Everyone, John Egan gives the 100th bomb group a positive, yet occasionally unsettling, vibe during Masters of the Air. Despite being a fearless and skilled soldier with a noble desire to fly with his fellow airmen, Bucky frequently acts erratically and puts himself in dubious situations. Despite this, Bucky is close friends with Buck Cleven from the beginning to the end of the story, and much of his character growth centers on Buck and their mutual goal of surviving the war and saving others. The myriad ways in which Buck and Bucky keep each other alive add to the poignancy of their friendship. The prisoner experience of John Egan with Buck Cleven and his return to England. John Egan's World War II story took a turn in Episode 5 of Masters of the Air when he had to abandon his jet due to the Munster raid. Before this, Egan had been excited to take on the notorious assignment after hearing that Buck Cleven had vanished the previous day. But as the flight became hazardous, Egan had to make an emergency landing in German territory. Egan tried to flee, but German forces eventually found him and took him to Stalag Luft III. He met up with Cleven again there, and the two of them were prisoners of war for the rest of the conflict. Stalag Luft III was home to John Egan and Buck Cleven from October 1943 to January 1945. Together, the two sought independence for the camp in Masters of the Air by gathering materials to construct a radio that would allow them to hear news from the conflict. Buck Cleven managed to get away from Stalag Luft III during the forced march to Moosburg in January 1945 to evade approaching Soviet forces. Conversely, John Egan was held as a prisoner of war until April 1945. He was eventually freed by American forces and returned to the country. John Bucky Egan's Afterlife Following World War II John Egan met Josephine Pitts, a female student and women Air Force service pilot, after finishing Masters of the Air. 1946 saw the two get married. Egan fought in the Korean War after that. In 1951, he was made a colonel and assumed command of the 47th Reconnaissance Group. Following the war, he held many significant positions, including those at the Pentagon, the Pacific Air Force in Hawaii, and the 5th Air Force in Japan as Deputy Chief of Staff for Operations. Following a heart attack, Egan passed dead in 1961. I hope you enjoyed these theories, I'll post more soon. Thanks for viewing. Watch out for the next shocking surprise.